Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at combo string from strings 1, and this is the Java solution. So given two strings a and b, you return a string of the foreign short, long, short, with the short string on the other outside and the long string on the inside. The strings will not be the same length, but they may be empty. And we can look at the examples here to clarify. Hello, hi gives me hi, hello, hi. Hi, hello gives me hi, hello, hi. So it's the same thing. And a, 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 b gives me b, a, 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 b. So there's no need for a substring here, so we don't really have to worry about index out of bounds, but we do have to figure out which string is longer. So the first way that I'd recommend doing this usually to students is um, you can use a single if statement and just check which one is longer and then return the value. And then if that doesn't work, you just return the other. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say if a dot length is greater than b dot length. So essentially, I'm checking the respective length of those two of those two strings, and if that's the case, a is the larger of the two, so I'm going to return b plus a plus b. Otherwise, I return a plus b plus a. And I hit go. There we go. No problem. Now, it's a little thing, but just to make sure you're really clear on this, this takes advantage of a really important concept. That is, as soon as we reach a return statement, we stop. So sometimes students will write it out like this, um, and I don't think that's the best approach. Um, it works perfectly fine because essentially what this says is that if, let me just line up like that, if this is false, or sorry, if this is false, then it comes down here and does this. But because of the fact that we know that this is generally going to return um, and it exits if it reaches that return statement, I tend to encourage you, let's just hit go, there it goes, um, I tend to like students, to encourage students to code it like this. Either one works. Okay, let's look at another way we could do this. So another common solution I see from students is they'll do something like this. Is they'll say um, LSTR for long string is A, SSTR for small string is B. So we're going to make an assumption that A is greater than B. And then we're going to say if A dot length, or let's go B dot length is greater than A dot length. Well, in that case, we're going to say L str is equal to b and ssdr is equal to a and then it can return ssdr plus lstr plus ssdr. Oh, what did I do? Oh, too much python. String. String. There we go. And it works fine. Um, both of these solutions are valid. I think this first one's a little bit better. Um, but this one is a nice kind of conceptual idea is that sometimes what you can do is you can just make an assumption about which which of a uh, make some assumption and then just test if that assumption is true or not, in which case you only make a change if your assumption fails. With that, I hope you have a lovely day and whether you're a student of mine or someone just out there learning to code, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask any questions. Have a wonderful day.